Hi everyone, it's Gail, and I am here with week six of Marguerite Miller's Challenge. As well, I want to work on my Finish It Up. I think seem to be adding more things and not getting things finished. So need to refocus, need to revisit my word of the year. So let's say hi and hugs to Lulu, Joan, Linda, and Josette. Thank you so much for watching and for your kind comments. Okay, let's see. So I think I have everything I need, I think. Let's see. Something made from plastic. I have these little pictures of cogs that look plastic. I also have a crystal light plastic jar if I need it. Advertisements. I have some advertisements from old magazines something from space well i have the sun <laughs> and then i have this funny little um uh, it's like from an old magazine i guess but it's these people on a picnic and they're thinking about a flying saucer i think so that's from space textured paper i have some embossed paper here a name in my family that's easy i can do that instructions I have these old, um, oh, they're old woodworking sort of magazines. And so I thought, well, that'll work. Okay, so let's get started. I was thinking I would, I would use these instructions as kind of the basis of my, of my page, just to cover up the page a little bit. So hope you're all doing well. I'm having a busy day. I'm trying to get some videos done. This, um, and then I have to get myself kind of pulled together for, um, I have a YWCA fundraising meeting, which is late in the day. And I don't know about you, but I'm not so much a fan of late in the day anymore. I'd rather be home late in the day, especially when it's cold out. <laughs> but, you know, I'm retired and they're not, so there's there's the difference there. Okay. Um, I think this will be okay. I'm just going to do this part. This will be good for backing something. Throw it in the scraps. Um, yeah, so anyway, just, just a busy girl today. Let's see. I guess I have to do that. Okay. So I guess I'm going to need my glue sheets and a glue stick and off we go. <clears throat> Yeah, it's warmed up a little bit here. Now we're like at 18 degrees. We were below zero, so <laughs> it's like a heat wave. So, yeah, I told I told Mike, how about since I have this late meeting, how about if I stop and get takeout for dinner? I'm cooking tonight, see. <laughs> That's that's how I roll anymore. Gosh. I figure I um, did the majority of the cooking for 42 years, so I'm not going to worry that my husband's taken over that. I'm just going to enjoy it. So, yeah. There's been co commercial Taco Bell commercials of the Mexican pizza, and I used to love those. And I haven't had one in probably, oh gosh, I don't even know, many, many years. So, but why not? Okay, so there's that. And then I'm thinking these two pieces, like one could go there, like that. This one could go here. Need a little something to cover that, don't I? Hmm. 
well, let's just collage a couple pieces on there of this old book and then that will that will kind of take care of that spot show a bit more of the instructions oops that's real fragile paper <laughs> oh I could put that up there okay is that gonna do it that's gonna do it okay <laughs> okay so I guess I'll put those down and then we'll go from there on the rest of it yeah my uh, finish finish it pile over there on my table has it's grown rather than shrunk and that was not my objective this year my objective was to get stuff done so i'm just going to work on a couple things over there so that i feel better about my um better about my goals for this year okay there's that i hope that's not as shiny to you as it is to me it's really really shiny so so yeah it's uh it's also I mean I'm still kind of gosh I'm still kind of recovering from coming back from my retreat in terms of getting myself organized again and you know it's going to be time for my next one here and I am pretty far ahead on my filming because of my daughter's visit, which is coming up. For me, it's coming up. Okay, so I have these little ads. I mean, I could put that on there, but it's kind of big, I feel like. And I don't want to fussy cut it. So I'm going to use this as my something from space the spaceship in their brains i don't know and then we've got our ads and our textured paper so i was thinking i could maybe with the ads i could kind of pop those around the page a little bit Here, there, and here, there, and who knows where. <laughs> oh, I do tickle myself, don't I? <laughs> You're all going, okay, okay. Okay, tips for tired eyes. I probably only want three. something like that so I'll save that I'll save the bottle of crystal light unless I need it somewhere okay so this I'm thinking I could just rip a piece I could rip a piece for right there Rip a piece for right here. Almost using it like washi tape to kind of balance out the page a little bit. And then and I've got that little piece. Okay, then I got to figure out my family name somewhere, but that's that'll be easy. Okay. Okie dokie. We're going to call that a winner. And then we've just got to put stuff down. And we'll get on to doing some doing some finishing. There. 
think I'll for the um, it's more of a card stock this embossed paper so I'll use art glitter glue on it see there okay see there this was a funky one I kind of had trouble finding stuff that I was happy about especially the space thing I found that difficult and then I also found um, the plastic kind of like mm, what am I gonna do for that okay I might as well see if I can use up some of my still using up except it really does Oh, it really does get stuck because it's such a goobery bottle. It's so, it so needs to be done, but I just keep using it. See, look at that. It's just, it's the bottle of glue that never quits. Oh, it's starting to sputter though. It's, that's a good thing. I think we're getting there. It's like the ketchup bottle. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's going to go there. Okie dokie. This one. Okay, I'm going to call it done. That's just going to be over there. Get to the newer bottle here. Yeah, my poor husband's been working on taxes. That, bless his heart, does not look fun to me. <laughs> no thank you to that. I'll stay in my craft room while you do that. Oh. Gosh, it was kind of shocking he was looking at medical expenses and you know we haven't had anything big this year you know like a surgery or anything like that oh where am I gonna put this okay I'm gonna have to do something with the name and with this um, anyway it was it was shocking how much we paid you know insurance wise and even though we're on Medicare insurance wise and I, think I might put that there okay um, my thought is with the name that I could put could use one of these pieces of stuff and make I was thinking about a little belly band ooh that's perfect yes I'll make a belly band that's what I'll do outside okay do I have what do I have for I don't have my little markers over here what is this detail okay this might work this one I grabbed I saw it in my I kind of have extra office supplies sort of drawer and I saw this and thought, oh, I should be using that before it dries up. It might already be. Who knows? Okay, so how big is this one? Oh, that's not too bad. Okay, so I'm going to use my two grandma names. My two grandmas. So my one grandma's name was Mabel. And my other grandma's name was Alma. So, there's that, and then I'm going to put a little heart in between. My Grandma Alma died before I was born, and my Grandma Mabel died when she was 62 and I thought she was so old I remember 
I remember my mom sitting at the kitchen table crying and I remember feeling helpless like I want my mom to quit crying and I don't know how to help her <laughs> oh shoot come on stick on there you maybe I need a little squisher it's because it's slippery I think okay okay so there's that I feel like this needs something because um, that kind of has that. I feel like I need I need something right there that's kind of brownish too. What could I do? Um, hmm. I'm looking around my room if you're wondering what I'm up to. Oh, maybe. I have these lovely number things from um, Rust Paper Scissors, and I'd love to have one of these in my own I'm Keeping It journal. Create. That's it. Okay, so we're going we're gonna to do a little something different with that. I just think if that's over here, that'll balance that out a little bit. If that that makes sense. Okay, so this isn't a hole, so I can just glue that on. Um, I think I'm gonna use Fabri-Tac for that just because it's a heavier piece. I know you guys went over and shopped at Rust Paper Scissors, so thanks for doing that. I just love her items and now i have one that i'll be keeping forever in my little book okay i'm gonna call that week six there we go so let's see week six we have plastic we have advertisements we have something from space a spaceship we have textured paper a name in our family and instructions behind okay we did that got her done okay let's tidy up a skosh just gonna i'll put these things back in my in my marguerite miller so there you go there's that i am excited about that one it came together pretty well given that i was like i don't know what i'm gonna do okay so first finish it off thing I need to do this journal needs some book corners see how the I mean sometimes I like it when the cover frays but sometimes I don't so this is one of those I don't um, it's fancy kind of fabric and it's it's not at all grungy and so it just doesn't need to oh excuse my reach it does not need to be fraying so we're going to put these corners on and that will that will help the situation so um these are tim holtz book corners they truly are my favorites to use and i just smush them with my thumb and then I take a pair of needle nose pliers and squish them again <laughs> oh gosh those of you that have been with me for a while might remember that story so Mike was the great white hunter and he was he was hunting down some voles voles get under your grass and they create these lines in your grass where they've been and it's almost as if it kills the grass in that area. Anyway, so he had put out a mouse trap up in this one area of our yard where it was obvious that the voles were having a field day. And he called me out to look because he'd, he'd gotten one. And... Um, it was in the trap and 
he showed me and I said, oh, good. And then the vole moved. <laughs> and I said, ah, squish it again. <laughs> so I don't remember what he did to finally do the vole in, but oh my goodness. Yeah, not a fan. They're way too close to mice for my liking. Oh, so anyway, we always joke around here about squish it again. <laughs> well, I was standing right by it and I'm in my pajamas because he came in to get me to tell me to come look. And I'm like, oh my gosh, if that thing goes up my pajama leg, I'm going to die of fright right here on the spot. Oh, goodness. So I had someone ask me. This was really nice. They asked me if, while I'm chattering away, if I talk about my childhood a little bit and stories from my childhood. And um, so I thought that was, that was nice. Thank you for being interested. <laughs> It wasn't super exciting, but thank you for being interested. Okay, I did that. We're going to, before I get into talking about that, we are going to grab another project. So I think that is going to be much, much better. This cute little journal. Yep, that's it. That's what it needed. So I'm going to tie it up and I'll be putting it over to go on Etsy with the others. Um, so hopefully I will have listed some of those by the time this airs. Okay, so that's done. That's going in the done pile. All right. Um, I've got my tray that I have all lots of unfinished things on. And one thing I know is I have a piece to put in my bunny journal that um, that came along as I've been doing the Rachel's challenge, Rachel's Roxy weekly challenge. Um, I've been making a bunny thing to put in here. Oh, I have two bunny things, three bunny things. <laughs> These are so cute. I just love those. I wonder, should I put that on there? I want to keep this writing because it's just cool. I like how the gray kind of goes with the gray. I'm going to do that. Okay, so anyways, um, childhood. Oh my goodness. So I am basically an only child. I my dad had two children from a pe previous marriage, but they did not grow up with me. They were with their mom, and um, their mom uh, wasn't, wasn't kind in her talk about my dad. And so it took the kids until they were grown-ups to realize what the real scoop was. Um, and so, uh, I didn't, I didn't grow up with them. So I grew up as an only child and I think I might put this guy on the back too, rather than on any pages, just right there. I think that'd be cool or there. I'm going to put it up here in case someone wants to put a pocket down here or something. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna do this so it doesn't stick to the pages. Um, anyway, so um, at my brother's graduation was when I met him, his graduation from high school, and then and then of course he was busy with, um, and let's see, I was six. So he's 12 years older than me. And my sister was 10 years older than me. 
And uh, so, yeah, basically I grew up as an only child. And um, there were pluses and minuses to that, I would say. Um, I always felt like it was hard going on vacation because, you know, it was just, it was just me. Um, so, you know, I, I think the downside of being an only child is it's lonely. Ooh, maybe should we just put that right there? That looks pretty with that. Okay, and then we need something to go in it, don't we? But I can worry about that later. Okay, so all we need to do is glue here and here on these. Yeah, so anyway, um, I, I love them both very much. My sister has passed away now. Um, but... And my brother lives in Florida, so we don't see each other very often. But, you know, we call and that, so. Um, it's kind of fun. My middle daughter, Joni, is close with his daughter. They, their husbands are of similar personalities and stuff. And so they even travel with them sometimes. So it's interesting how you know, a not, a not very close family tie there has turned into a really close. And, um, and definitely as I grew up, we got closer, um, my brother and I, because, you know, I mean, 12 years is a long time. When you're young, that's a long time. That has, I was just kind of looking to see what else is I need to do in here. I've just kind of been poking along on this as I go. So, yeah, I'll have a few more. I might wait a few more weeks on it to um, you know, just kind of add some bunny things to it as I go, but I'm loving this little journal. Okay, so that's what I wanted to do in that. What else do I have over here? Okay, I have all these wispy holler press, all these to um, to glue and do some distressing on. Maybe we'll do a little bit of that, just a little bit. Do a few. If I do a few every time we revisit this tray, maybe I'll get it done one day. <laughs> we can just hope. So, um, so yeah. So, I was born in Wyoming. And my dad worked for a, um, a retail store was called Vaughn and Ragsdale. I don't know if any of you will remember it. But um, he was in uh, Mile City, Montana when my mom went there for beauty school. And that's so that's where they met. And then um, and obviously got married and then my dad was transferred to Lovell, Wyoming. Let's see, he was transferred somewhere else. Oh, yeah, he, no, he was transferred to Douglas, Wyoming, which is where I was born. And then he was transferred to Lovell, Wyoming, where that's where I was a toddler. And, um, then he decided that the store was moving them like every two years, they'd have to move. And my dad had a bit of a nomadic upbringing. His dad was a ranch hand. And so they moved from ranch to ranch. And, um, and so 
um, oh, those are, that one was upside down. I just probably did that wrong. Anyway, um, so he had this nomadic upbringing and he didn't want that for me. So he, um, he took a, called a LaSalle accounting course was like a correspondence course basically he would have been online if it would have been nowadays <laughs> but anyway um then he he did that and got transferred to the helena montana store because he wanted to finish that accounting course and get a job with the state which he did uh, he was an accountant for the Department of Livestock and then um, went, by the time he retired he was the chief of the chief of centralized services of the Department of Livestock so he really he really did well in his in what he did I think his story is so inspiring um, but yeah anyway uh, that's kind of that's kind of how all that went. I think I'll do this white one. And then we'll move on to something else because I will have told that story. <laughs> um, but yeah, so we were in Lovell, Wyoming when I was a toddler. And then we, I think we moved to Helena when I was three. And then my mom and dad, after my dad got a job at the state, they built their house. And we moved into the house that I basically grew up in until graduating from high school um, when I was four. So, and moving into that neighborhood was great because there was a girl across the street from me. Her name was Gail, too. And she was actually, um, she was a few years older than me, but she would, would still play with the younger kids. And, um, and then down on the corner, some people built a house after we did. And when I was five, they moved in and their daughter, Joyce, was exactly my age. She was five too. And so we became friends. And then next door to me, there was um, this family they had a girl and a boy the girl was a year older than me and she um the mom was japanese american and so um that was my first introduction when i was just a tiny girl to you know to diversity and so anyway her name was cecilia but we called her sissy and so then there was Sissy. So Sissy, Joyce, Gail, and her annoying little brother named Marty. Oh, he used to call me crybaby Gail. Oh man, did that ever bug me. <laughs> he'd, he'd, do, he'd call me that until I'd cry. Jerk. <laughs> oh, it's not for the faint-hearted growing up, is it? So anyway, but um, I think a cool story was this time of year in the winter, our dad's, uh, there was a empty lot in between Joyce's house and Gail's house. And our dads would haul their hoses over there and they would, they built up a berm of dirt and they would make an ice skating rink every year. So we had our very own ice skating rink which was really cool. Okay, I'm so happy I have some of these to use. Um, I used them all up in my journals that I did at my retreat, so yay, I'm happy about that. Okay, so those are all done. More to do, but I made a dent, and that's happy. Okay, so I will file those away at whenever. Okay, how much time do we have? We've got... Cheesy peasy, we've got lots of time. So, I'm gonna grab this again, cause that's another unfinished. This was the beginning, um, the beginning 
to beginners tutorial on making a traveler's notebook out of some junk mail and stuff so um you know i got some other pockets i might use in this Just grab my pre-made pockets, which is where I where I toss those, and see what we can do with this. Okay. Um, I'm thinking I have all these plain ones, and they're skinny, so that's why I was thinking they might be good in here. Because even though it was a basic journal, I want to decorate it up and make it make it fun. I should probably, I think I'll maybe put some lace on the edges too. I don't know. We can do that later too. So let's see what we have in this box that we could use in here. I'm seeing this. This would be awesome. It's got a little tuck there and a tuck there. That would be great in here, wouldn't it? Okay. Oh, there's some really if I can find something that's going to cover that up. That's kind of cute right on there. Okay. I had to turn off my heater. I'm warming up. Warming up. Yeah, that'd be nice on that. And I could scooch it over a little bit and then that has lots of room, doesn't it? I think I might also put that on I'm just going to go ahead and start gluing things down. I'm not going to worry about doing my normal process here because this is just, this was just a little, a little quick extra that happened to get created because I needed to, I needed to do a beginner sort of a tutorial. Okay. That, that's happy. I like that there. I wonder on this side, do I want like this one? I think I do. I really thought that was stitched, but it's not. It's a stamp. That's cool. Okay. I'm sorry I didn't put... I didn't put down the name where I got these stock on it. Oh, I think I might have got, oh, uh, I don't know. I'm sorry. It's hard to keep track of everything in my world, guys. <laughs> it really is. Oh. So, let's see. Do What other joy stories do I have um, from growing up? She was great. I loved her so much. And she had two big brothers who we were a constant annoyance to. It was sort of a point of pride with us. <laughs> yeah, they um, they could have done without us being around, that's for sure. But it was good because it gave me a bit of a, a basis of siblings and then the boy across the street was also annoying. So, you know, in some ways it was like, yeah, I'm fine being an only child. <laughs> I don't have any annoying brothers. Yeah, because all my friends had brothers. Sissy had a brother. Joyce had two brothers. And Gail had the one. The one. That would be kind of cute there. And it's got the yellow flower. Okay, let's just put that on. Oh, this was made by Lorette. Hi, Lorette. I'm using your cute little pocket here. So cute. I'm happiest when I'm with you. That's really cute. Okay. Okay, so what else? Uh, let's see. Um, I think 
I think maybe one of these. I don't know. This is going to be an eclectic journal. Let's just say that. It's going to have a little of, a little of this and a little of that. Hmm. I don't know. They're not grabbing me. They're just not grabbing me. What else do I have? This is a interesting little pocket. Would that fit? That's the other thing. Fitting things on um, sometimes in a traveler's notebook is a little more of a challenge because the pages are thinner. I like that. Yeah, let's do that. Um, yeah, so Joyce and I, our moms work together at the same office. They both worked at an insurance office. So in the summer, we were both on our own. And <laughs> and so we, our moms put us in swimming lessons together so that, um, you know, we'd have something to do in the afternoon that would keep us out of trouble. So we rode our bikes. Gosh, it was probably, it was a good, had to be a good mile to the swimming, um, the swimming pool, the community swimming pool. And we would ride our bikes there every day and go to swimming lessons. And even on the days when we didn't have swimming lessons, we'd ride our bikes over to the pool anyways. Um, I'm just looking through to see if there's any. This one, I don't know. The, the background colors aren't going with any of the journals I've been creating. So I think I might be able to stick this in there. Um, yeah, so anyway, that was our summer thing. And there was a, there was a, a drive-in that was about a block and a half from the swimming pool and it was called Gertie's Drive-In and it had the best milkshakes ever. And we never had enough money for milkshakes, but um, we would go get, um, you know, they had the soft serve ice cream. We would go get, a, you could get a little tiny cone for like a nickel or something. And we'd go get a, Go get an ice cream cone after swimming because you know you're always starving after you go swimming so yeah just fun just fun very much um you know the old idyllic childhood in that regard and um my school was interesting because my I baby boomer, you know, uh, there was a lot of us. And so the schools, they kept having to figure out how they were going to fit us. Oh, I have a bunch of these and I haven't used these either. Maybe I'll use one of these in here. Um, anyway, so I went to an elementary school from first till third grade. I did go to kindergarten too. I went to a kindergarten, which was um, probably because my mom was working. Ooh, that would be nice. Let's put that on as kind of like a belly band. Um, so I went to like a private kindergarten because kindergarten was in the public schools back then. And then first through third, I went to this elementary school and then I went fourth through eighth grade. Let's have the guy right side up, how about? Um, fourth through eighth grade, I went to, well, it was basically a middle school, but it, it was a middle school when my kids went there, but it was elementary too back then. So fourth through eighth grade there. Then I went to, 
high school that was just kind of down from my house. I just had to cross the tracks and go through the fields for freshman, sophomore. And then they made that into a full high school and they moved us um, over to the to Helena High School for junior, senior, which was, I don't know who thought of that, but it was a dumb thing to do in terms of the kids. Cause like all the kids at the high school already had their friends groups and everything. And we did not, I mean, and so we come in on junior year and like no nobody and ugh, it was it was not good for the kids I don't think so there you go but um but that's how that's how it went okay um okay so I think that is about what I've got to put in there with those pockets, I think. How about these little guys? These little guys, I have no idea where those came from, but I've had them forever. Here's a rather neutral one. And I just need to use them, don't I? We could put something, a cluster or something on those. <clears throat> yeah, so anyway, that's that's kind of how how it was I don't know I I do feel like I had the you know kind of the classic 60s 70s childhood in that you know playing games with the kids in the neighborhood and kickball and stuff okay so I'm guessing so these fold then we take the sticky off and put them on I guess um, yeah, I hope the sticky's still good because I've had, like I say, I've had these for years. Might as well use them. Yeah. And we'd, the best though, the best was when we'd get to play outside after dark. I mean, usually all the moms would call us when it got dark, but sometimes they'd let us, like on a Friday or something, stay out and play that was the best because we'd you know we'd play oh what was it called I forget but you could only play it in the dark that's not coming back to me but we'd play um hide and seek and stuff yeah it was it's easier to hide in the dark <laughs> yeah so different now I feel like I mean the electronics have taken over our children's lives you know I mean and I'm not I'm not putting them down I mean I wouldn't be able to do this without the technology we have now but I th I do think it's kind of sad like the little kids in our neighborhood where we live now you never see them outside even the little little ones that you would think would be too old to be or too young to be looking at technology but yeah they're just I mean like the little kids above us they have a an awesome playhouse that has swing set attached and everything. They're never out there, never. It's just, it's just really weird. I don't know, I might go out on a limb and say we had better childhoods, but you know, I don't know who's to say. I might put these on each one of these. They're from the, um, what are they from? <laughs> oh, they're from a whole different kit that I don't know. This was the one that goes with the one I put the corners on. But I found a couple tickets in it. So <laughs> I'm like, where'd that come from? Oh, so, so yeah, I don't know. 
times were simpler. I guess that's the that's the truth of it. Times were simpler. And um, there's something to be said for that. Okay. So let's look at our clusters. I think I want paper cluster on here. These are cool. These are from For the Love of Paper Company. Little puzzle pieces. Yeah, I don't think for that one I want that. I don't mind that, although that's going to be hard to write over. <laughs> I'm striking out, striking out. Oh, this little teeny one would work well, I think. Yeah, I'm going to put that there. Well, I feel like we've made a little bit of dent, and I feel like I've been talking nonstop, which I have, but um, but we've made a little bit of the dent in the finish it up stuff. So what do you think? Tell me what you think. Do you think just given what we do that we will always have unfinished things always have things sort of in halfway halfway there halfway done i don't know i'm beginning to think that's the case because like i say uh my my use it up has gotten bigger not smaller or my i mean my finish it up stuff has gotten Does that look weird if it's, yeah. This little thing, that's so cute. I don't know, it's a little bit too big too. I need teeny weenier clusters. Oh, here's a tiny one. Yes, that's it. That's the one. So I really appreciate you guys being here crafting with me, listening to my listening to my ramblings, my stories. <laughs> Be careful what you ask for, right? <laughs> you just might hear more than you care to. Okay. Oh, that's, that's very fun. Alrighty then. So what do we have in this? Let me check my time. I'm, we're just about there. Got a little pocket in the front. And then I've got one, two, three, four, Five things in the front. One, two, three things in the back. Okay. Well, we're getting there. We're getting there on that one. Tie it up and squish down all those things I just glued. Okay. So... Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for crafting with me today and hanging out and listening and and all. So let's get the we'll get the 
this back over here so you can see. Okay, there you have it. Week six of Marguerite Miller's and a little bit of finishing. <laughs> it's a good thing. So thanks everybody so much for watching. I hope you have a grateful day and we'll just see you in the next video. Bye.